I have been using the Ugreen 40 gigabit per second NVMe enclosure for the past few months. Not only me, actually me and my girlfriend Thea, we both are in love with this Ugreen 40 gigabit per second NVMe enclosure. Yeah, it's been working flawlessly across every machine we have got. Mac Studio, Mac Mini M4 Pro, Mac Mini M4, and MacBook Air. Speeds are stable, thermals are under control, and it runs quietly without needing attention. So, when I picked the new 80 gigabit per second version, I expected everything to get even better, especially on the Mac Studio M4 Max and on the Mac Mini M4 Pro, which support Thunderbolt 5. But that's not how it went. The numbers looked great on paper, but in actual use, the experience has been frustrating. We have tested both the 40 gigabit per second and 80 gigabit per second Ugreen NVMe enclosures across four machines: Mac Studio M4 Max, Mac Mini M4 Pro, Mac Mini M4, and MacBook Air. For storage, we have used three flagship Gen 4 drives: Samsung 990 Pro, Lexar NM800 Pro, and Crucial T500. All three are well known for stable, high-speed performance. The 40 gigabit per second enclosure worked smoothly on all four devices. It connected instantly and constantly delivered stable speeds. The 80 gigabit per second version, on the other hand, requires Thunderbolt 5 to unlock its full bandwidth, and only the Mac Studio M4 Max and Mac Mini M4 Pro support that. So, we have used the Ugreen 80 gigabit per second enclosure with the Mac Studio and the Mac Mini M4 Pro for proper testing. Accidentally deleting an important file at the worst moment is all too familiar. But with Recover It, that panic stops in its tracks. With an impressive 99.5% success rate, Recover It digs deep recovering over 1,000 file types from more than 2,000 devices, including SD cards, hard drives, and even crashed computers across Windows, Mac, NAS, and Linux. Whether it's a lost video or photo, it can even repair corrupted media. A few simple clicks. Select what to recover, let recover it scan, preview the results, and breathe life back into lost files. Trusted by over 100 million users and backed by 20 years of expertise, this is secure, reliable, and powerful recovery for any device. Lost data doesn't have to ruin the moment. Well, I've been using this software for the past couple of months and now I'm in love with it. I've left a link in the description box. Go ahead, check this recovery from Wondershare. We ran Blackmagic Disk Speed Test on both the Mac Studio M4 Max and the Mac Mini M4 Pro using all three SSDs, Samsung 990 Pro, Lexar NM800 Pro, and Crucial T500. The write speeds sometimes peaked at around 6000 MB per second, but there were moments where it even dropped below 1000 MB per second. Well, that's truly frustrating, and it happened quite a few times. Read speeds showed the same kind of unpredictable swings. On the other hand, the Ugreen 40 gigabit per second NVMe enclosure has been rock solid across all four of our machines. Whether it's file transfers or Final Cut projects, it runs cool and consistent without a single hiccup. We have been using it daily for all of our video editing, and it has never let us down. Okay, let's get back to the 80 gigabit per second enclosure. When it's not hot, it actually moves files quickly and feels responsive. Working on Final Cut projects using this 80 gigabit per second enclosure feels very swift, but once it starts heating up, editing directly of it becomes frustrating. It just can't keep up. Well, talking about the performance, really, the first difference we have noticed between the Ugreen 80 gigabit per second enclosure and the 40 gigabit per second enclosure was the hit. The Ugreen 80 gigabit per second Thunderbolt 5 enclosure gets hot unusually fast. 
much faster than the 40 gigabit per second version ever did. And once it starts warming up, the fan kicks in hard. Not gradually, not gently, just loud. It spins up aggressively and stays that way even during medium workloads, making it impossible to ignore in a quiet setup. But the worst part? Well, the noise doesn't even solve the problem. Even with the fan running at full speed, the enclosure keeps heating up. Thermal buildup is obvious, and once it crosses a certain point, the drive performance drops. The cooling system just can't keep up, and the enclosure feels like it's fighting itself to stay stable. However, Thea has her own way to keep this 80 gigabit per second NVMe enclosure cool. She uses two ice bags, one underneath the Ugreen NVMe enclosure and another on top to keep the enclosure cool. Well, after all the testing, both me and Thea ended up going back to the 40 gigabit per second enclosure. It might not have the flashiest numbers, but it's quite stable and works exactly how it should across all our machines. No surprises, no slowdown just smooth editing and transfers. The Thunderbolt 5 80 gigabit per second version has potential, but right now it's too hot, too noisy, and too inconsistent for our kind of workflow. Maybe Ugreen will improve it with future updates or revisions, but for now, the 40 gigabit per second Ugreen enclosure is still the one we trust for actual work.